Hi, welcome to the Life as Usual video blog, a video blog dedicated to making you a more impactful leader through the ideas of self-awareness, execution, and direction. Today, I want to talk about the power of having just one goal and avoiding the fear that comes with setting your ideals on one thing. What frustrates a lot of people is the avalanche of goals that people tend to get from everyone else. Everyone has a priority for you to do instead of you doing what you know you need to do. And it's frustrating because what ends up happening is you start working on one thing and then you forget another thing and then the other thing goes away. And then what ends up happening is you, you keep missing and you keep missing. And that messes with your credibility as a leader because people need to rely on you to get things done. How do I decide on goals? Well, I decide on goals using a a process called the Eisenhower matrix. And the Eisenhower matrix essentially separates your goals into four quadrants. One is called urgent and important. Another one is called urgent, not important. Another one is called not important, urgent. And one is called not important and not urgent. The key for me is to focus on the thing that is in the urgent and important category. Or if I have the patience to find something in the important, not urgent category to focus on. Everything else can be delegated. What makes one goal better than others? I can't tell you what's important and what's not important. However, one thing that helps me understand the power of a goal is fear. Once I separate those things in the Eisenhower matrix, I can then take a look at the impact and the implications using my gut feeling of fear to help guide me. Usually, fear isn't telling me what not to do because it's bad for me. Usually fear is telling me what not to do because it's gonna be hard and challenging. And it's the hard and challenging goals that are going to make you an impactful leader. One of the things that's gonna happen when you pick one goal is what they call FOMO, or fear of missing out. You might think of what's gonna happen if I don't focus on this, or What's gonna happen if I don't multitask? Or what's gonna happen when I, you know, when they see me just working on one thing? Isn't somebody gonna toss me something else? Well, you can't worry about that. A lot of that is fear trying to separate you from the actual action at hand, which is taking on that tough goal. The problem with FOMO is the harder the goal is, the more it's going to feel like you're gonna be missing out on other things because you're scared you're going to fail. FOMO is a mask for protection and perfection, and there's no perfect route, no matter what you try. So put your energy in one thing and use that to move your objective forward. The exercise that we're going to do is the Eisenhower Matrix. I know I mentioned it before, but I wanna go deeper here and talk about it through the lenses of self-awareness, execution, and direction so that you're able to implement it in your life so you can have one goal and one goal only. Being aware that you can only really focus on one thing is critical because our minds aren't built on multitasking. I know you've heard a million stories from everyone saying that they multitask, but the fact of the matter is multitasking slows you down upwards of 60 to 70% from the tasks that you're doing. That's on individual tasks. Think about that level of complexity as you expand it to a goal. Every time you work on something else when you, and you're trying to do two things at once, that slowdown happens at each step of the way, meaning that you're going to slow what could be a daily thing or a week thing and make it into months and years. Through my consulting practices, I've seen this happen in companies all the time and a single focused approach would get them done and millions of dollars under budget. Meanwhile, they try to tackle so many things at once and they end up over budget and bloated. They call it trying to boil the ocean. Be aware that if you're not singularly focused, you're boiling the ocean and you're not really getting anything done. So how do you execute this Eisenhower matrix while being aware? It goes back to first outlining all of your goals. You have to understand what's important and what's not. 
And once you strip those things out, you figure out where they fit in that Eisenhower matrix. Is it urgent and important? Urgent, not important? Important, urgent? Or not important, not urgent? Make sure you're very, 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 very conscious of where you put things. Everybody is going to be tempted to put everything into urgent and important. And if you ask anybody, they want you to do their things first. You have to set boundaries on yourself to make sure that you don't end up doing that. Because once again, if you're trying to do everything for everybody, you're going to end up doing nothing for no one. Put the things in those task boxes and then take a step back and look at the direction. What gives you the most fear? You don't ever want to try things that get you out. You want to try things that make you nervous. Because if you're too comfortable doing it, then it's really not really that important because you're not really tre trudging over new territory. You probably could delegate that and send it to someone else. They may do 70% of the job you do, but you're gonna be out learning something new that can impact the rest of your team. So, with the Eisenhower Matrix, again, you wanna be self-aware that multitasking kills. It kills your goals, it kills your tasks, it kills your projects very quickly. You wanna execute on the Eisenhower Matrix. Again, being conscious of what is important and what is urgent and putting them in the right boxes. A quick hint, Urgent and important should have no more than two or three things. And then you want to make sure that you set that direction in terms of your fear, right? You don't want to get yourself out of the paint completely, but you want to make sure that you're doing stuff that's, that's interesting and, and, and nerve wracking to you so you can improve your skills. Let's talk about self-awareness. It's being aware of the falsification of uh, research and step-by-steps. You want to execute with that by making a nice paper that has your goal and breaking those, that goal down into those three sections and executing on them. And then direction is you wanna pass it around to your team so they understand what it is, who owns what, and is it even feasible? You want that feedback in order to make this document stronger. Mm -hmm.